a really scary sight to see from across the freeway. I could already see it was a disaster area over here. We showed you this scene earlier this afternoon near Interstate 35 and Hermitage Drive in North Austin. About 30 people's apartments are damaged or destroyed. The Austin Fire Department says it started when someone didn't correctly put out whatever they were smoking. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell reports on the creative efforts to house all of those who are displaced. All you seen was smoke. I mean, the smoke was so thick, I went back in the house and I got this and put it over my face. Firefighters quickly fought through all of these flames to keep them from destroying this entire building. Those firemen, I give them up. Crews say draft stops required by city fire code saved the whole building from burning. And it's an, essentially an additional wall with sheetrock on both sides uh, that acts as a fire stop to keep the fire compartmentalized in that attic space. Even so, for those living in the 24 units in this building. When I saw the building burnt and my door kicked in and it was not the best thing to come home to. It's devastating and this isn't the first time. Uh, we have had issues with fires. It may be something that the fire department needs to look into more around here. The Red Cross and apartment managers here will temporarily house those who need it within the complex. We can provide them with things like an air mattress, sheets, some comfort items, and then they can move into a vacant unit. So it's a little, a little bit more convenient than having to uproot everything. Firefighters say with the cold, they're seeing these types of situations almost daily. We've been super busy with fires lately. And again, this is just another one, uh, you know, uh, adding to the tally. The warning, be careful, not only when smoking, but with heaters and extensions. Extension cords that get more use during winter. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. No people or pets were hurt in that fire, but fire crews say it caused about $400,000 worth of damage.